Hi guys and welcome. I'm Daniel and I'm teaching you UiPath. Now, in this tutorial, I'm just gonna go a quick way how we can delete files from a folder. So let's get started. Now for this video, I have an empty project with files where inside I have two directories. Now the one which we're gonna work is this working directory folder. The reason we have this copy, which the exact content is just to have a source where we put these files back because we make delete of it. And actually we're gonna see how we can filter this. Now, the first thing which I like to show you is how you can delete these files. Well, the simplest way would be to delete the entire directory and then create a new one. And let me show you how you can do that. So first I'm gonna drag and drop delete and then let's make create. And let's say create folder. And this path I usually uh, put in a variable and I'm gonna use this scope just for deletion. So let's say I'll delete. And I'm gonna use this sequence just for uh, having some variable defined. So I prefer to have a folder path. So let's say folder path variable, it will be of type string. And as a default, I'm just gonna uh, do this hard coded. I'll open, I'm gonna copy and I'll put this and hit paste. Great. So I have this string with the path. Now I can say, first I'll delete. So I'm gonna delete the folder path. And then I'm gonna create a folder path. And that's definitely the simplest way. However, um, what happens if this folder path, it will not exist? Well, this delete, it will crash. How I can avoid it? Well, if I'm gonna set continue on error, no matter exception what I have here, they will be swallowed. However, this will have a side effect. There are certain reasons why a folder cannot be deleted. For instance, um, maybe you don't have access. If you don't have access, you will not see the exceptions which will be thrown. So any exception which will happen here, they will be basically swallowed. So this create folder, it will crash also. Now what I recommend in this case, uh, I don't recommend you use this continue on error true for delete. Let's say you would like to specify explicitly. So using an if, so if, and here you need to make sure that this folder exists. So the way how you check that is directory that exists. And here there is the path, it returns a Boolean, which is true or false. Now, if the directory exists, then definitely no matter the reason it will be, uh, the reason it cannot be deleted, it makes sense to see the user the error. So I'm gonna rename this if to ensure folder exists. Then if the folder exists, I do have a typo here, then I'm gonna create a folder. Now that's the simplest way. However, you do have a disadvantage. Any permissions which you have here, they will be lost. Let's say you're gonna specify a permission, uh, just some certain user, there will be access to read this. As long as you delete that directory and you create again, then this will be lost. How we can do that? Well, I'm gonna show you another method. So I'm just gonna copy this sequence and hit a paste. Well, unfortunately, I'm just gonna insert a new sequence. And I'll just move this and I'm gonna collapse. Previously, I'm gonna add a new sequence so let's see how we can delete individually these files. Well, definitely you need to go through each individual item, right? So how we can get to each individual item? Well, we need a for each. So I'm gonna grab a for each. For each item, which this will be a file or a folder, uh, I recommend to give this a name, let's say file, this can be any file or folder in, and here there is a trick directory dot 
enumerate files and enumerate directories. Now, there are two methods. Uh, you can either enumerate directories, and by the way, it makes sense to uh, rename this item uh, directory, or enumerate files. In this case, I'm gonna use enumerate files because these are the ones which you need to delete. So we need a path. Now the path, it will definitely be the folder. However, uh, there are three overloads here and I'm gonna show you. Now this will just list uh, the files which are here. But if you're just using the search pattern, uh, you can filter, let's say you like to delete uh, only the PNGs or you like to go in this for each only for PNGs images. Now you can specify a search pattern. I'm gonna show you how I can do that. And the other method, it's actually, let's me, let's show this. So let's say we like to go through all the PNGs. Now we're gonna use wildcard.png and the third parameter, it's a search option. So search option, I'm gonna say dot and I can say all the directories. So if I would have here in the working directory and actually let me show you. So let's create another folder. I'm gonna create another folder and that should be folder one. Where inside the folder one, I'm gonna just, let's move this, I don't know, this exe, okay? So in the folder one, I have uh, two PNGs images and one exe. Now, if I'm gonna say search option that all directories, it will go through all the inner directories which are inside this working directory. If I'll just choose top directories only, and let's hit the refresh to see this uh, change here, it will go only here. So it will not enter in any inner directory. And actually let's, uh, let's see that. So first I'm gonna use a log message. Uh, that should be the file path. I'm gonna use, just use the file just for listing. And by the way, uh, this it returns a path. The directory files, if I'm gonna press Control Shift Space, this it returns a string. How do I know that? Where it's a collection of string. And in order to access, it's recommended to uh, change the from the object to the string. And I'm gonna display the file. Now let's see. Actually, I'm gonna disable this part because I like to run this robot. Okay, so before to give a run, I'm just gonna make a recap. We are going through the folder path with the PNG only with top directories only. And let's see the execution of the program. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna give a run. And if we have a look here to the output, there is this one single file. It's called foot RPA. Now the reason, is because uh, we go only to the top folder and we only have one single PNG file. And as you can see here, this is not case sensitive, the filtering. Now, if we choose to go through all the directories, it will enter inside each directory, which we do have just one, and it will find all the PNGs files. So we do have three. Now, how we can delete? Well, instead of the log message, I'm just gonna replace with delete. But for now, I just want to see and to make it clear how this filtering works. Well, first I just wanted to uh, show you how you can do that individually. This time I'm just gonna say a format, so string the format, the file, and I'll use a placeholder has been deleted because I want you uh, to have some log also. And from the activities, I will use delete. Project, I'm gonna specify as a parameter the actual path, which will be the file. And this is the file path. And actually I'm gonna rename. So we should give a run now. Let's say, great, so let's delete these PNGs uh, which I have here from the working directory. Okay, we are having a look to the output. 
Uh, there are three PNGs which have been deleted. And if I'm going back, I don't have any more any PNG. Now I can do the same uh, with the image. And actually I'm gonna change the things. I'll say just the executable file, but I'll not go through all the directories. Uh, just in the top directory only. By the way, if you don't specify this search option, by default is considering the top directory only. So this parameter I can simply avoid. So hit OK. Now I'm gonna refresh here. So what I expect this time, uh, because I have uh, only this folder specified, I expect only this executable to be deleted. So let's see how we can do that. And in the log, there is this uh, file which right now there is not anymore. Hit a refresh and it disappeared. So these are two methods, how we can enumerate, how we can see what are the files from there and how we can delete. Now, uh, the same method can, now the same method can be applied to enumerate directories. So instead of the enumerate files, I'm gonna go with enumerate directories. Uh, and uh, this delete, you can simply use for file or for directory. If this video was helpful, I am more than happy to know that. Drop a comment and smash that like button. I'm Daniel and I catch you in the next video. Bye.